It's been called colony collapse disorder. It has does get blown up a little bit by the media and you know, essentially the sky is falling. But but it's it's definitely for real. People are finding uh, colonies that are not surviving at the rate that they used to during those uh, winter months. And so it's really the accumulative effect of all these things that I think at this point can be called CCD. You know, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, mites. It's not a joke, you know, it's not like something you can just rub off like, oh, this is not a big deal, the bees will fix themselves. This is like a dead serious issue. And I, and I kind of see bees as um, kind of a precursor of what's going to happen to humanity. If the crop's not profitable, farmers aren't going to grow it. We're not going to have seeds for the food that goes on our table. Bees pollinate about two-thirds of the crops that are grown, and about a third of all the foods we eat are coming to our plates because a bee has pollinated the seed, the flower, the blossom, whichever way, you know, they, many plants depend on pollination. What kind of fruit can we have if it's just relying on wind pollination? Not very much. Yeah. The biggest threat to all bees, both commercial bees and backyard bees, is the um, Varroa mite. That is just by far the biggest thing. And if they have, to, if there's no control of Varroa mites in our hives, they collapse during the winter. In, in most of these cases where there's like a, what you consider a devastating loss, I would think that it is a combination of various factors. What I would say my experience with bees is, is that it's just gotten harder and harder to keep them alive. That hive right there, um, right now, well, it's just uh, until the last bee finally dies off, um, it's done. There's no eggs, there's no larvae, there's no pupa, there's nothing. We're on the path to see the end of the honeybees, and, um, and you know, that's a grave, grave concern. You know, I think these are pretty big warning shots over the bow that um, that we need to pay attention to. I, and I think that, you know, beekeepers are going to continue to work at it. Um, we want the bees to survive and we want to continue to make our income from beekeeping.